Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. DJI introduces FPV goggles for drone racing. Lance is available for recreational UAS users. And the Drone Racing League is selling a street-ready variant of its racing drone. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. DJI launched the Digital FPV Transmission System, which includes FPV goggles, an FPV air unit transmission module, an FPV remote controller, and an FPV camera. The DJI FPV Air Unit Module uses DJI HD Low Latency FPV Transmission Technology and offers a low end-to-end -end latency of 28 milliseconds. The FPV system has a maximum transmission range of 2.5 miles, while anti-interference technology brings a reliable feed to the goggles during flight. Additionally, a focus mode narrows down the signal bit rate to the center of the frame counteracting interference. The FPV system can record on both the FPV camera attached to the drone as well as to the FPV goggles. Racers can capture video content on the FPV camera in 1080p at 60 frames per second or 720p at 120 frames per second, while the FPV goggles can record 720p at 60 frames per second with instant playback. The DJI FPV Flymore Combo sells for $929, and the FPV Experience Combo sells for $819. Now, let's take a quick look at a few stories making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. It's time for today's Drone Minute. The FAA, in partnership with Kitty Hawk, relaunches Before You Fly app, which lets recreational drone users know where they can and cannot fly in the national airspace system. The new app is now available to download for free at the App Store for iOS and the Google Play Store for Android. Parrot is reportedly retiring its entry-level consumer drones in order to focus on the ANAFI quadcopter for the commercial and consumer markets. Parrot has been working to grow its commercial drone business for a while and launched the ANAFI back in 2018. The aircraft was very likely one of the reasons that Parrot won a DoD contract to develop small reconnaissance aircraft to be used by soldiers in the battlefield. Huan Zihu, the founder, chairman, and CEO of Ehang, a pioneer in autonomous air mobility technology, was recognized for his achievements in the aviation industry at the Living Legends of Aviation Awards Europe in St. Wolfgang, Austria, back on July 20th. Mr. Hu is the first Chinese honoree. As public safety agencies continue to adopt unmanned aircraft systems for life safety missions, new research from Drone Responder provides a better understanding on how these new programs are developing. Survey responses from 288 public safety professionals paint a telling picture regarding the current state of public safety drone operations in the United States. According to Dr. Gregory Krutzinger, who is a principal at Scholar Farms in Berkeley, California, the data represents a clear snapshot illustrating how public safety agencies are adopting drones. Now back to the rest of the news. The Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability, or LANCE, is now available to recreational UAS operators. LANCE is an important resource for AMA members who wish to fly in controlled airspace near airports. All model aircraft and drone operations within controlled airspace must be authorized by the FAA. For members operating at AMA club flying sites with established letters of agreement, the letter of agreement serves as your authorization. When flying in controlled airspace but outside of AMA club locations, 
All recreational operations, including those by AMA members, need FAA approval. Lance makes it easy to apply for and quickly receive approval to fly. This can be done through a mobile app or desktop computer. To access Lance, you need to sign up with a service provider, one of the several companies that has developed the mobile and online portals that interface with Lance. There are three options available with services for recreational operators, AirMap, Kitty Hawk, and UAS Sidekick. The Drone Racing League is taken to Kickstarter to launch its street-ready variant of the Racing Drone, which will be used by all pilots in the 2019 DRL Alliance World Championship season. DRL says it's a true, field-ready version of the DRL Racer 4 drone, featuring the same power configuration as is used in the Racing Drone, a 5S power system. 2,510 stator, and 7x4x3 props. DRL says it will be redesigning the electronic system to support off-the-shelf radios and simple part replacement. And while the DRL Racer 4 has 1,000 LEDs, the Racer 4 Street will only have 100 LEDs, but DRL says it's working to integrate a new lighting system to achieve the same aesthetic as its pro drones. With a goal of $350,000, the campaign is all or nothing, meaning it will only be funded if the goal is reached by October 5th. As of this morning, $19,808 has been pledged. A pledge of $599 will put you in line to receive one of the new drones, which have an estimated delivery of April of 2020. And that's it for this week's Drone Report. As always, we appreciate you tuning in, and please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. You can find more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. I'll see all of you right back here tomorrow to wrap up the week with an episode of Airborne Unlimited.